and welcome to uh, the history of cancelled Star Wars books. I'm the Walrus Jedi, and uh, yeah, this is the History of series. So uh, this is episode three of the series, the first part being uh, the history of the expanded universe, and the second was the history of cancelled Star Wars video games. Uh, both of those will be linked in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, if you like this video, then please consider liking and subscribing for the next episode in the Harry, in the history. Uh, please, if you like this video, then please consider liking and subscribing for more videos in the history of series and other Star Wars videos. And the books will be listed in alphabetical order. So number one, Alien Exodus by Robert J. Sawyer. This was to be the first of a trilogy set in the Expanded Universe. It was to be published by Ace Books instead of Bantam Spectra, like other Star Wars novels at the time. The story was to focus on the history of humans in the Star Wars galaxy. The main storyline we would follow is Cosmo Hender, the leader of the human slaves on the planet Forhilinor of the Varlian Empire. It would have seen the humans gain freedom. The second storyline traces the origins of the human race to a lost expedition from the 25th century Earth. 2. Blood Oath by Elaine Cunningham. This book was supposed to release April 2009, but due to issues the author couldn't control, the release date was pushed first to December 2009, then to April 2010. But by August 2009, Del Rey still hadn't received a manuscript and decided to cancel the book. Set in 41 ABY, or, you know, 41 years after the Battle of Yavin, it was to star Jedi Knight Zek, who after being separated from the Jedi Order would encounter a pirate captain brewing conflict. He would also team up with the Happen Sisters, Trista and Terran Zell, uh, to halt the conflict. Number three, Escape from Dagu by William C. Dietz. It was to focus on the Tagruda Jedi Master, Shakti, leading a mission to rescue clone trooper prisoners of war from the planet Dagu, where they are being held captive by a dark acolyte, Artel Dark. It was to be released March 2004 and set nine months after the first battle of Geonosis as seen in Attack of the Clones. It was supposed to be part of the Clone Wars multimedia project. The book was completed, but it was decided to scrap it in favor of the book Yoda Dark Rendezvous, due to Yoda being more appealing to the public. Dark, Dagu, and Shakti's mission were referenced in the Republic Hollow Net News Core Edition 14.3.22 and the official Star Wars Fact File 116, making the general storyline of this book canon to the expanded universe. Number four, Heart of the Jedi by Kenneth C. Flint. This book was set after the destruction of the second Death Star. It was to be published in 1993, but by 1995, its cancellation was made public. On March 4th, 2021, the book in a revised form under the title Star Wars, The Heart of the Jedi, was sold unofficially via Amazon's self-publishing services without Lucasfilm's permission. By May of that same year, it was removed from Amazon. Number 5. Imperial Commando 2 by Karen Travis. This was obviously the sequel to Imperial Commando 501st, also by Karen Travis. In this book, we would have followed Darman as he is an Imperial Commando, and as he comes to Mandalore as the Empire wishes to strengthen their presence there, this leads to Cal Scarada and the rest of Clan Scarada to leave Mandalore. Darman also wishes to get his son Cad, and eventually they would all reunite off-planet together at the end of the book. The novel was cancelled July 19th, 2010, due to Karen Travis leaving the project due to contractual issues and continuity issues introduced in the Clone Wars TV series. Number six, Legacy of Doom by Margaret Weiss. 
This novel was supposed to be a sequel to Exiles of the Force, a cancelled comic series, and Heart of the Jedi by Kenneth C. Flint. In 1995, it was cancelled due to differing opinions. In 2016, Joseph Bongiorno wanted to publish Legacy of Doom on his website, but Margaret Weiss no longer had the book as she didn't see a point in keeping it. Number 7. Mandorla by Alex Irvin. This book was set 3,980 BBY, or 3,980 years before the Battle of Yavin. It would have followed Nomi Sunrider and take place just before Knights of the Old Republic 29-2012. Del Rey confirmed this book was cancelled. Number 8. The New Jedi Order, Dark Tide, Siege, by Michael Stackpole. This was to be the second book in the Dark Tide trilogy. Set 25 ABY, the New Republic planning for the next Yusan Vong attack, following with Corin Horn dealing with Slidao Shai's threats. The plot of this book was incorporated into the other Dark Tide books, thus making it a duology and this allowed James Lucino's Agents of Chaos to become two books. Number 9, 10, and 11 are The New Jedi Order, Nightfall 1, Jedi Storm, by Michael Jan Friedman. The New Jedi Order, Nightfall 2, Jedi Fire, by Michael Jan Friedman. And The New Jedi Order, Nightfall 3, Jedi Blood, also by Michael Jan Friedman. And in these three books... It, were, it was to be released in uh, 2001, and it would have followed scientist Danny Q and Jedi Knight Duralin as they try and prevent the Yuuzhan Vong from taking out the Jedi. Del Rey canceled this trilogy in favor of Greg Key's Edge of Victory duology, which follows Anakin Solo. Numbers 12, 13, and 14 are the Sword of the Jedi trilogy by Christy Golden. This trilogy was to follow the conclusion of Fate of the Jedi, the series, and it would have focused on Jaina Solo and Jagged Fell. It also would have featured Tahiri Vela, Ben Skywalker, and Alana Solo. This trilogy was cancelled due to the expanded universe being discontinued with the Disney purchase. Number 15, the Boba Fett novel by Karen Travis. It was to be released in 2011 and set after Legacy of the Force, the book series. It would have featured some flashbacks to Boba Fett's past. Once Travis left Star Wars, the book was cancelled. Number 16, a Paul S. Kemp duology. And uh, this was cancelled due to the Disney purchase. And that's roughly all is known about it. Number 17, a Troy Denning trilogy. And this trilogy was to follow Crucible, and it was set around the same point in the timeline as Sword of the Jedi. This trilogy was cancelled while with the Disney buyout. And, uh, yeah, there's one more book, but it is a Disney canon novel, so... How about new? It will be just included here at the end, and it was to be a novel, a, Mando, a Mandalorian novel... This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Set in the Mandalorian universe by Adam Christopher, and it was announced June 30th, 2020, and cancelled March 9th, 2021, due to it conflicting future Mando seasons. All right, that is all the books that, uh, that were cancelled. So, yeah, well, it's quite a bunch of books. There are several that uh, it's a shame that never really got uh, published. Now, uh, a few interesting points are uh, obviously like, um, yeah, like uh, Heart of the Jedi by Kenneth C. Flint. That obviously got a unofficial printing on Amazon, even if it was just for a couple months that it you could get it that way. And some of these and other canceled projects you can find on uh, some websites and things like that. So like, there are ways to experience some of this canceled content. Uh, it's just, unfortunately, you're probably just going to have to read it on a website. So it's unfortunate if you like to read like a physical book, but at least there is a place where you can experience some of the, uh, 
some of these stories. It, uh, and that's the most important thing is that you're you're at least able to read it. I will link uh, the website where you can find some of this stuff down in the description down below. It's a shame that uh, some of these got canceled because some of these sound awesome. Like, I would have loved Escape from Dagu to come out. Um, I know that it basically got, you know, canceled in favor of Yoda Dark Rendezvous, but I don't see why they couldn't just get them both out. Like, even if you had to delay one or the other, like, that's okay. Just, just do them both. Cause quite frankly, like that, that sounds cool. You know, shock T rescuing clone prisoners and fighting a, a, basically a dark Jedi. It sounds pretty cool. It's a Jedi. We don't get a whole lot about. And yeah, so I, I would have loved to see that fans of uh, the Republic Commando book series, you know, Imperial Commando 2, like, I would have been nice to get to get uh, that, all those characters and that story resolved. And uh, one interesting book, uh, Mandorla by Alex Irvin, that sounds interesting, you know, and it's an it's an Old Republic novel, which that's a shame because the Old Republic is lacking novels. It's only got about 10 or so, like it's it could use more because it's a it's a big period of time. It's thousands of years, and there's only, you know, maybe 10, 12 books set in that time period. Now there's comics as well, but I mean, you have thousands of years. You can you can do you can do a few novels set there. So that that would have been nice to make. So yeah, uh, honestly, there's nothing on here that I that I'm like, oh, I'm glad they didn't make that. Like some of those games in the video game episode link in the description down below it's a shame some of these but and you know there was we were supposed to get a boba fett novel set you know far into the future yeah it's like it's a shame that sounds awesome i would have loved that that would have been that would have been a cool book well what did you think of that so yeah are there any that you wish were made from this list and are there any that you're glad did not get made you can let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.